endurance. An Ironman race combines marathon, swimming, and bike riding. No easy task. It is not easy. <laughs> Very difficult. At this year's World Championships, though, Arizona is well represented. Tyler Baldwin joining us from the track at SCC. An Arizona mother of three is competing in the upcoming Kona Ironman World Championship. But get this, that race, one of the most grueling competitions in the world, will be just her second race ever. She's going to tell us how she qualified next in sports. It's more than 140 miles long and considered the ultimate athletic challenge. The Kona Ironman World Championships consists of a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and a 26.2 mile marathon. I've always admired Ironman athletes. Sherry Ann Nelson is busy training for the Hawaiian event. This will be her first trip to Kona and just her second Ironman. Signed up to race in 2012, didn't own a bike, didn't have a coach, had never done a triathlon. She got the bike and signed up for the Arizona Ironman last year. I did very well. I came in third in my age group. I was the eighth amateur female overall and qualified for world championships at Kona. Training for an event like this can be a real grind. It takes an incredible amount of dedication and time commitment, which is amazing considering that Sherry Ann is also a business owner and a mother of three. Six days a week, I get up at five in the morning. And now she's hoping those early mornings will pay off in Kona. Still for me, it's so surreal because I've only done one Ironman and there's people that spend their lives training for Ironmans to get to Kona. It's a dream for so many people. Sherry Ann will have a video blog up and running as the race approaches. You can find more information on that on her Twitter page, at Sherry Ann Nelson. You can also cheer on at the Arizona Ironman, which takes place five weeks after Kona. In Scottsdale, Tyler Baldwin, 3TV Sports. We and wish her well. We do, as we all feel like complete and total stackers. <laughs>